Hey, let me share with you guys just how easy it is with just a drag and a drop to convert a markdown file into basically whatever file type you want, such as docx for Microsoft Word or a PDF. Very easy to do. So I have this markdown file here. This is a blog post on how to wash a cat. So this single hashtag indicates this is a heading level one and the double hashtags are heading level two. This is just standard markdown formatting. These uh, little dashes mean that this is a bullet list. And then we have some double asterisks in here, means that this is gonna be bold. And we have a markdown table in here too. Yep, markdown table right here. So watch this, I have this file, how to wash a cat. I'll simply take this file and drag it onto this markdown converter file. I'll press spacebar twice. And now we have our Microsoft Word document. How cool is that? It's all formatted. We have our headings, we have our bullet points. We have our table right in here, very easy to do. Let's do the how to wash a dog, space bar, space bar. And now we have our markdown of that. Let me show you exactly how to do this because this is incredibly simple. So you'll wanna go to your browser and type in Pandoc, P-A-N-D-O-C, P-A-N-D-O-C. Pandoc is free software under the GPL. So you can download this to your computer. So you'll click on installing and you'll download the latest installer. It works on Windows, it also works on Mac. I'm running Windows right now, so we'll go to the download page. Now, this might seem a little complicated to you, don't fear. This is Windows right here. Basically, just click on this. This is x86, 64-bit. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, this only works on a 64-bit Windows computer, but that's basically all Windows computers now. So you'll just click this file right here, and it will download. And then when it's done downloading, you click it once to install it. Very simple to install. That's if you're on a Windows computer. So I've already installed it on my system. And then what you need is you need this file right here. I'm gonna make a link to this file in the description down below. Let me show you what's inside of it. It's called a batch file, a B-A-T, right? This is what's inside of it right here. All right, it, this is like Windows bat programming language. It's very simple. Basically all it's doing is it's taking the file that you're dragging on to, to this program and it's running the pandoc command. And it's saying, we're gonna take the input file, which would be like how to wash a cat and convert it into this docx format, all right? Now, if you don't want docx, if you want a different file format, you can do that too. There's all kinds of formats you can convert this into. Check it out. Click on demos right here and it will show you all the different examples. So we can go to latex format, we can go to RTF, XML, PDF, HTML, all kinds of different formats. And there's probably ways using a batch file, that's what you know we're dealing with here, to automate the process and do it even quicker. But this is a fairly, fairly simple process for you guys to, to do. So I'm gonna make this entire file right here available in the description down below. Just click it and then put it into kind of whatever directory you want, uh, as long as that directory has write access. And then you can take your markdown file or a file created by ZimWriter and just take it and drag it on top and then press spacebar twice and you will get your nice and pretty marked up file. Hey, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. There's all the links down below, including links to ZimWriter, including links to my AI prompting course, and a link to our private 13,000 member Facebook group where you can get help with all of your content and SEO generation needs. So until next time, good luck with your content generation, and I'll talk to you later.